Echidnas are members of the family Tachyglossidae, a group of spiny egg-laying mammals that inhabit Australia and New Guinea. They forage by digging into ant and termite mounds with their sharp claws and collecting termites using their long sticky tongue. Their mode of locomotion is also unusual in that it is neither typically mammalian nor reptilian but retains aspects of both lineages. Therefore, we were interested in the interaction of locomotor biomechanics, ecology and movements for wild, free-living short-beaked echidnas. To do this, comparative physiologists from the University of the Sunshine Coast, Curtin University and the University of Western Australia teamed up with engineers from the University of Queensland. We built a watch-sized data logger which recorded movement, light and temperature and attached this to the thick spines on the echidna's back before releasing them once more into the wild. Before we did release the echidnas, we performed a series of simple movements which allowed us to synchronize the patterns from the accelerometer trace to that of our video camera. We recorded over an hour of an echidna behavior and by aligning this with the accelerometer trace we could define four broad movement patterns including still, walking, digging and climbing which we could use to look at the private life of echidnas. So what do echidnas do with all their time? Echidnas spend the majority of their time resting, usually in burrows, logs or caves. And these patterns of activity did not appear to vary between summer and spring. However, there were differences in their daily activity between seasons. In both seasons, echidnas were primarily nocturnal, but in summer, when daytime temperatures were high, Activity was restricted to only a few hours in the late evening and early morning. Because they could be active for fewer hours, their average walking speed between foraging sites increased during the summer, up to a whopping 0.6 meters per second, close to their maximal movement speed. A final key observation was the amount of time spent digging and the amount of soil which could be moved. Echidnas spend up to 12% of their day digging. To roughly estimate the amount of soil turnover this could represent, we estimated that echidnas were able to completely bury themselves in soil and leaf litter within a minute. The volume of an echidna is 3,200 centimeters cubed for a 3.2 kilogram echidna which indicates the potential for each echidna alone to move up to 204 cubic meters of soil, meaning it would take only 12 echidnas to move an amount of soil equal to the volume of an Olympic-sized swimming pool each year. These diggings have substantial ecological importance as a source of soil bioturbation. Most mammals associated with bioturbation in Australia have suffered considerable reductions in density and distribution post-European settlement. The short-beaked echidna is the least impacted mammalian species, maintaining the widest geographical range of any Australian species. Therefore, it may be one of Australia's most important bioturbators.